Hey friends, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's almost like an art game. We, I'm going to give you some directions and you're going to draw, but I'm not going to tell you what you're going to, what we're going to draw. You're going to have to try to guess as we go along. So we're going to play this game called Can You Guess? Okay, so you will just need a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, and then we'll follow along and you'll have to try to guess as we go to see what we're doing. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your paper in half and then open it up, turn it, and fold it in half again. And when you do this, we'll have these fold lines that we can use as guidelines or reference points when I'm telling you where to draw a line. Okay, so you should have a fold going down and a fold going across. Okay, so let's get started. Can you guess what we're making yet? No, oh, of course not. Okay, so take three fingers, put them right on the side of your paper, and put a dot. Okay, so we have one dot there. Let's go over and do the same thing on the other side. Three fingers in, and put a dot. So now we have two dots on our paper. Now we're going to connect these dots with a rainbow line. Remember I've talked to you about practicing it before you draw it so you can kind of get a feel for how you want your line to look and where you want it to go. So don't be afraid to do that. And there's our rainbow line. Can you guess what it is yet? No. Okay, so now we're going to go down to the bottom of the page. And you're going to put out two fingers. Okay, from the bottom of the page, make sure you can see that, and put a dot right there. Now, that dot is just telling us how far down we need to go to make our curved line. Okay, this line is not straight. We don't want to do a straight line right here. We're going to do a curved line. So again, take your pencil and practice making that curved line a couple of times before you make it. And then you'll sort of start to see a very light outline, and that can help you make the line just the way you want it to go. All right? Okay, so this is the shape that we have now. Can you guess what it is? Well, it could be lots of things, huh? Well, let's keep going. So we're going to go up on this curved line a little bit. We're going to come out, and we're going to draw another curved line to the bottom of the paper. Then we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, all right, so let's see, what's our next step going to be? Can you guess what we're drawing yet? I think you might need a few more clues, but you're going to start figuring it out pretty soon. So now we're going to go up on this curve line. We don't want to be down here. We want to go up a little ways, and we're going to make another curve line. Okay, like a frown. Okay, so now let's do our next step. Our next step is we're going to go down. Remember where we did this dot? It's right on the fold. We're going to start at that dot and do a straight line that goes part way up. Okay? Then on top of that straight line, we're going to make a smile line. Okay? Now you've probably figured out we're making some kind of creature, some kind of animal but you still don't know what because we need to add some more things so that you can have another clue about what we're going to make. So I need to make the eyes for this per creature. I can't tell you what it is. I almost gave it away. And so I'm going to go over in this section right here and I'm going to make a nice big round eye just like we did when we made our giraffe. But you know we're not making a giraffe here because we don't have a like, nice long neck. I'm going to make um, a highlight in the eye, and then we'll color all around that highlight. Okay, Okay. so now I'm going to go over to the other side and try my best to make my eye in the same spot on the other side. But if you don't, that's okay. Alright, and there's my other eye. I'm going to give it a little highlight and I'm going to color it in. Okay, so let's look and see what we have so far. Do you know what this is yet? Well, I'll give you a hint. This thing has whiskers. So you can give it some whiskers. Still don't know what it is yet? Okay, well, I think this next part of the drawing is gonna give it away. 
So I'm going to go up to where this line, this fold mark is, put my finger, I'm going to put a little tiny dot. Well, I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. So I put a finger space a little bit past that fold line. And I'm going to make a curved line that goes all the way towards the corner of my paper and comes back down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of it. I bet you know what we're making now. Now I'm going to put my finger on the other side of the fold line and put a dot and do the same thing. Make a curved line all the way up to the corner of the paper and come back down and then do the same thing inside. And what did we make? We made a cute little bunny. Okay, so you can add some eyelashes to your bunny. You know Mrs. Parker always likes to make those really curly eyelashes, but you can make your eyelashes any way you want. Maybe you want to make some that look like that. Um, you can give your bunny some freckles if you want. Um, you could decorate the bunny's shirt with some polka dots or some hearts or some stripes. You could cut out a little bow tie from a piece of scrap paper and glue it right here and give your bunny a bow tie or glue it up here and give your bunny a bow. So there's lots of different things you can do with your bunny. You can color it with crayon or marker, whatever you want. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this Can You Guess drawing. Um, I would love it if you send me a picture of what you made because I love seeing your work. So have fun with the rest of this mystery drawing and I'll see you soon. Bye!